Beyonce and 50 Cent engaged in a heated exchange recently when the rapper called her and their husband Jay-Z an evil couple. This sparked an angry response from Beyonce, who accused 50 Cent of creating unnecessary drama. She stated that she was disappointed with his statements, as she believes it is not productive to tear people down. So, what's going on between these two celebrities? Why are they at odds? Tune into my video as I discuss this interesting saga and its implications for their respective careers. This story is sure to be spicy, so make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on all the drama and intrigue around this exchange. Beyonce and Jay-Z are known as one of the most iconic couples in music. They have been together since 2002 and have achieved immense success, both professionally and personally. 50 Cent's comments were seen by many as an attempt to create a divide between the couple, which Beyonce was not prepared to accept. She took to social media to express her outrage at his remarks and made it clear that she would not tolerate such behavior. The exchange between Beyonce and 50 Cent may have been surprising to many, but it appears to be a sign of the times. Social media has become a platform for public discourse, and celebrities are increasingly using it to voice their opinions on current issues. When recounting his confrontation with Beyonce in Las Vegas, 50 Cent speculated that she might have thought he and her husband were in the middle of an argument before she jumped out and confronted him with a no-nonsense confrontational expression. He added, she just wanted to make sure nothing happened. I think they're a great couple, and I think they do a lot of good things together. Even though 50 Cent holds no ill will towards the Carters, it is clear that his comments have caused a rift between them and himself. Despite the negative feelings shared by both parties, it still seems like there is some hope for reconciliation, as 50 Cent said that he is open to talking out their issues. He also said that he admires the Carter family family and believes they have done great things together. The future of the relationship between them remains in limbo, but this confrontation has surely taught both sides a valuable lesson about how far people are willing to go for those they love. Only time will tell if there can be a peaceful resolution between 50 Cent and the Carters. Although the confrontation with Beyonce was unexpected for 50 Cent, he revealed that it taught him about where he stands with Jay-Z and Beyonce. He acknowledged that they aren't his biggest fans and shared the experience as a lesson in understanding boundaries when it comes to those we care about. He realized that all Although his comments may have been taken as disrespectful, there are times when it's best to keep disagreements between those directly involved and not make a public spectacle of them. The Carter family is often seen as the epitome of celebrity couple goals, and 50 Cent's comments on their relationship were met with swift criticism. Bianchi took a strong stance in defense of her husband and their relationship, showing a united front against 50 Cent's actions. It seems clear that this incident has revealed to both sides the importance of keeping private matters between those involved and respecting others' boundaries even when disagreements arise. 50 Sanchez stared at Charlemagne. He was not certain what to say or do. He had been caught off guard, and it seemed like an eternity before he finally spoke. He looked into Charlemagne's eyes and said, you know what, I don't think that Solange would have come after me even if she was here. She's a true professional and knows how to conduct herself in public. The audience erupted with cheers, clearly pleased by 50 Cent's response. Charlemagne was visibly impressed and even gave 50 Cent a pat on the back as he continued to speak. His words made everyone in the room realize that he was not intimidated by anyone. He had been put in a tricky situation, but he responded with poise and dignity. The crowd erupted with applause as 50 Cent finished his statement, proving himself to be the true winner of the night. 50 Cent then added, if Solond was there, I would have had to reboot silent mode. She was popping in that elevator like it was nothing with some gangsta-level happenings going down. Jay couldn't do anything, huh? It's clear that an argument went down before things got physical, and if we dive into the facts, it's pretty clear that Jay-Z said or did something to provoke solo on his outburst. But at the end of the day, they're still family and love each other more than anything, which is why we should all just let it go and move on. The audience erupted with cheers once again as 50 Cent's words sunk in. He had managed to engage the audience, get them thinking critically, and show his respect for the Carter Knowles family at the same time. It was clear that 50 Cent had once again shown himself to be a master of public discourse, able to take an awkward situation and turn it into an opportunity for growth and understanding. 50 Cent had expected Jay-Z's response, but he hadn't expected it to be so calm and collected. When they met backstage, Jay-Z had seemed genuinely impressed with the track, reassuring 50 Cent that his career was off to a good start. But beneath the polite smiles and lighthearted banter, there was an underlying tension between the two, an unspoken understanding that this wasn't a feud that would end with a simple handshake. Little did they know at the time, but their tit-for-tat exchanges were only just beginning. The feud would go on to become one of the most iconic in hip-hop history, playing out over tracks and interviews for years to come. It's still talked about today as an example of how a good old-fashioned rap battle can be both entertaining and thought-provoking. In the end, what started as a harmless tune turned into something much more serious, proving once again that words have power and should always be used wisely. Whether it was intentional or not, 50 Cent and Jay-Z 
created something special with their feud, a testament to the spirit of hip-hop, and an example of how strong relationships can survive even in times of conflict. Little did 50 Cent know that his life was about to change. As he watched from backstage, Jay-Z stepped out on stage and dropped the first bars of a song that would become an instant classic. I ain't even know it. The crowd erupted as Jay-Z shouted out 50 Cent's name in the very first line. In one moment, something that 50 Cent had only ever hoped for had come true. Jay-Z was giving him props on wax. It wasn't just recognition from one of hip-hop's biggest names either. It was validation that his efforts had been noticed by someone who mattered in the industry. After years of hard work and hustle, 50 Cent had finally achieved his dream. Now it was time to take things to the next level. Little did he know, this would be just the start of an incredible journey that would see him rise from obscurity to become one of Hip Hop's most beloved figures. He may not have known it at the time, but this was a pivotal moment in 50 Cent's career, and one that can still be felt today. So what started off as a harmless track had turned into something much more serious. With Jay-Z's props, 50 Cent had made a name for himself in the rap game and set himself up for future success. The showdown between 50 Cent and Jay-Z had been brewing since the early 2000s, and it eventually reached a boiling point when 50 Cent released his diss track, Be A Gentleman, in response to Jay-Z's song It's Hot. Jay-Z was preoccupied with his own issues at the time and never responded back. The tension between the two rappers only continued to grow as 50 Cent released his compilation mixtape, Guess Who's Back? and eventually signed with Shady Records. Jay-Z recognized the success of 50 Cent, but instead of responding directly, he instructed his own artists to flood the market with new music before 50 Cent could release his debut album. Although Jay-Z had retired at this point and couldn't retaliate through a song, there was still tension between them in their proxy war over Kanye West's showdown album. It was believed that Jay-Z backed Kanye with everything. He had to ensure that he beat 50 Cent, which ultimately led to Kanye outselling him in their first week sales duel. The rivalry between 50 Cent and Jay-Z has continued over the years, and this tension was recently highlighted when a fan on Twitter suggested that Beyonce had run down and attempted to fight both 50 Cent and Fabulous. Even with this detail being based more on theories than facts, it's clear that these two rappers have never seen eye to eye. This unspoken rivalry between 50 Cent and Jay-Z has spanned nearly two decades, from diss tracks in the early 2000s to proxy wars, fought through other artists today. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you think would come out victorious if they ever had a real battle? Who do you think is a better rapper? Let us know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more content like this. Thanks for watching.